Welcome back to Huawei Routing and Switching Elite Training for HCIE. Today topic we are going to discuss on route import and control. Let's start our part 9. Alright, so let's go back to our tree and the solution for us to do is we use the uh, filtering. Alright, we filter out the 10.0.0.0.16 network. And for us to do that, we are going to use the IP prefix. Okay, so I'm going to call it as filter summary index 10. I'm going to deny the 10 network with a subnet mask of 16. All right, and anything else I have to permit. Index number 20. Okay, so 20 will be permitting anything. Okay, less equal, sorry. There you go, so I have a small little mistake here. Okay, so filter index 20 permit 0000. zero, zero, zero with the uh, sum of 0 less equal 32. So this command here means that I'm going to permit anything else. Okay. So when I do a display IP IP prefix, uh, you can see that I have the IP prefix over here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I go back into my OSPF and I'm going to do a filter policy, filter policy with the IP prefix and my prefix name is called filter summary and when you do a filter summary here we are going to do an import okay right so this is my filter policy so once I filter the policy I have to filter on both sides which is on R3 and R4 then uh, I will have the route disappear. So as you can see that this is before I do a filter. All right, so I have the RIP there. All right, with the slash 16. Okay, and uh, I will expect it will still be there. That's correct. So you can see that it's in router four because I did it on the router three. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a same thing. Okay, so this is my IP prefix. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to do it on router 4. Okay, router 4 and I'm going to apply it into my OSPF filter policy IP prefix and I'm going to use a filter summary import okay so when i go back into r5 those should be removed the uh, summary route should be removed as you can see that i already removed it and uh, when i'm going to go back into r2 i'm going to do a trace again 1009.9 you should have no looping all right so there you you see it how I can actually solve this issue. I'm going to do uh, another one. I'm going to do a trace to make sure that it's still working. All right. So there's no issue on here. So if I go back to R3, display IP, IP prefix, you can see that there's get denied. All right. So that's all on this uh, particular exercise that I show you how you can optimize the route. Okay, so let's continue our lab. So here we are going to look into the policy-based routing. So company A need to optimize this network and has the following requirements. So we have two requirements here. The first requirement is to enable R3 to forward traffic from 10.0.0/24 and 10.0.1/24. So which means that if I'm sourced from these two, I have to pass through router 3 and enable R4 to forward 
10020 to 116x0, uh, which means that if I'm coming from the last part here, I'm going to go through here. And for us to do that, we have to use the PBR. Now, firstly, for the PBR, we have to configure ACL to match uh, 10000 and uh, 10010. Once we match the ACL, we are going to configure the policy based routing and apply the next hop to R3. And same go for uh, the uh, 10020. So we have to configure ACL. 10020, all right, we match it. And if it's match the source, then the next hop is a router 4. And for us to do that, all right, let's look into the solution here. So we are going to configure on R5. And uh, firstly, um, we are going to use the ACL 2000, 2001, and 2002. So we are matching these three source, okay? Now, for us to configure the PBR, we have to use policy-based route, okay, and not route policy, okay? So policy-based route, remember, is a forwarding plane decision-making. Route policy is a control plane. So now, I'm going to match uh, ACL2000, and my policy name is called LB. If I match 2000, which is 10001, I'm going to configure the next hop as router 3. So on the node number 20, I'm going to match 2001, which is 10011, and the next hop is 35113. And finally, node 30, I'm going to match 2003 ACL. I'm going to send it to the next hop of router 4. And once I configure the policy-based route, I'm going to apply it into my local policy using a command called IP local policy base route LB. Once I apply, I'm going to do a testing. All right, as you can see that when we do a source coming from 10.0.0.1, it will go into the 35. All right, that's router 3. And if I'm using 10.0.1.1, I'll go to 35. But if I'm using 10.0.2.1, it will go to 45. So this uh, screen show us the result. So let's jump into our lab and configure our router now. All right, so let's go to the uh, router 5. So before we start, um, this is my routing table on the router 5. As you can see that 172.16.0.0 slash 24, I have two gateway, 35.113 and 45.114. Uh, same go for the uh, 172.16.2.0, I have two gateway. So let me do a testing. This is before uh, I have the uh, PBR, or a policy-based route. So I'm going to use a source of 10.0.0.1. I'm pinging to 172.16.0.1. So here is actually going to 45. And if I'm going to use a 10.0.2.1, let's see where it's going. So it's also going to 45 as well. So it seems like it prefer to go to 45 for the uh, routing. Okay. All right, so it's actually going to here. Yeah. So now we are going to configure the uh, policy-based route. So let me go into the router 5 and configure ACL. So first I'm going to configure ACL 2000, rules, permit, source, I'm going to configure 001 with 000255. That will be on ACL 2000. ACL 2001, rules, permit, source 10011. OK. And ACL 2002. Okay, let me have a look here. There's no ACL 2002. Rules, permit, source 10.0.2.1.0.0.0.255. So when I do a display ACL all, all right, so I have 2000 that is having a source of 10.0.0, 2001, 10.0.1.0, and 2002 having a 10.0.2.0. So my ACL is complete. Next, I'm going to configure the PBR. 
so we are going to do a policy based route give us a name okay that's my policy name permit node 10 I'm going to match ACL 2000 if I match the ACL 2000 before that let me show you here uh, this will be my uh, action all right I can actually apply the next hop over here okay so I'm going to apply IP address and my IP address uh, the question require us to send to the uh, next hop here which is 35.1.1.3 okay which is here okay then I'm going to continue from here with a node 20 okay node 20 if I match ACL 2001 I'm going to apply IP address next hop to the same IP address okay and final one I'm going to do a node 30 this time I'm going to match ACL 2002 and I'm going to apply the IP address next hop to the router 4 which is 45.1.1.4 there you have it alright so I have all my policy is done already and uh, you can actually use this command display IP policy based route setup local okay so currently I don't have my local policy set up yet I'm going to apply it so I'm going to use IP local policy based route LB now it's complete so I'm going to do a display one more time that is my configuration so as you can see that LB is my uh, name for my policy base route so that's the node 10 just now that I configure ACL 2000 and the next hop is 35113 node 20 ACL 2001 next hop is the same router number 3 if let's say the uh, uh, match on 2002 which is a uh, 10021 I'm going to send them to 45114 all right, so let's just check if this is true or not. Let me do a trace 10001 172.16.01. It will go into router 3. All right, there you go. All right, so that's the router 3, 3, 5. If I go to the 1.1, 1 .1, it will go to router 3. There you go. And if I'm going to use 2 1, it will go into router 4. Okay, router 4 in this case will be a 45114. There you have it. Okay, so we have just configured the uh, policy based route, and this is how it works. And you also can use the uh, display IP policy based route. Uh, you can see the statistic and the local. All right, so as you can see, that we have forwarded. All right, based on the node 10 all right this is being forwarded based on node number 20 and this is being forwarded based on network number 30. now remember that uh, any things that is not matched by the uh, policy based route again it will go into the default routing table okay so here we have complete the entire policy based route so um, hopefully you understand the difference between route policy and the policy based route now Alright, so let's conclude our PBR as well as the route policy. So early on, we have discussed the um, principle on route policy and the PBR principle. Okay, and we look into the configuration. Now we are going to look into some of the uh, troubleshooting on uh, both the route policy and the PBR. Now first, let's look into the route policy troubleshooting. Alright, so it's very important for you to know how the route policy work so that you were able to effectively troubleshoot uh, route policy now here we have uh, two condition here a sub 
optimum route is discovered after a trace route operation is performed or the routing entry are queried. So if you still remember our earlier example here, we have the suboptimum path because of uh, mutual importing as well as because that uh, we have the uh, looping that is occur due to the way how the routing work, especially when you use uh, summarization. So first, you want to check whether the priority is the highest. Remember that our preference. All right. So make sure that the preference from OSBF into the RIP or OSBF all right, into the ISIS, you know what is the preference else, then they will have a suboptimum path. All right, we can use a route policy to change the preference. Check whether the route policy filter the optimum path. All right, so if let's say you have filtered the optimum route, then you have to make sure that you use uh, another way to make sure the path is optimum. Check whether the route policy is used incorrectly. Okay, so maybe you um, do some permit and forget about the deny because there is always a implicit. Uh, implied uh, deny at the end of the uh, route policy. Now the second condition is that a routing loop discover after trace operation is performed. So firstly, uh, on the uh, above here we have suboptimum. Now we have a routing loop. So again, check whether the route policy does not filter some route, else you will have a routing loop. And check whether the route policy does not match specific route. Check your ACL and check your IP prefix and uh, check whether the route policy is used incorrectly. All right, so double check. Use a display route policy. Check for the uh, inbound and outbound. All right, check for the tagging. Check for the uh, action on the permit and deny on your ACL. Now, all this is important when you do a troubleshooting on your route policy. Next, we look into the PBR troubleshooting. All right, so on the PBR, uh, we actually look into the example early on that uh, PBR work on the uh, forwarding plane. So if your local PBR does not take effect, most likely you have not configured this command, IP local policy based route. All right, so once you configure your policy based route, you need to apply in the local policy, that referring to your local router. And make sure that you have configured your matching condition and apply condition, which is apply to your IP next hop. All right, so double check on this and uh, finally do a display IP uh, policy based route to check your configuration is correct as well as the statistic. OK, so this will be on the troubleshooting on both route policy and uh, policy based route. So next we are going to look into a uh, case. So there are two cases here we are going to examine case number one and case number two. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel.